Test containers provide support for most of the popular languages like Java, Go, .NET, Node.js, Python, etc. In this video, we are going to take a look at how we can get started with test containers for .NET. What we are going to do is we are going to go to test containers guides and then we are going to follow along this getting started with test containers for .NET guide. In this guide, we are going to create a simple .NET application which talks to a Postgres database and then we will see how we can use test containers Postgres module to test the application. Let's get started. To create our project, let us follow these instructions here. So here we are creating a new solution test containers demo and then we are seeding into that directory and then we are creating a new project of type classlib with the name customer service and then we are adding that project to our solution and we are creating another test project of type x unit which is uh, customer service dot test and then we are also adding that uh, project to our solution and we are adding a reference of customer service project to customer service test project so once we have executed all these commands we are going to have a solution with two projects customer service and customer service dot test and then we are going to use postgres and we are going to use this npgsql dependency which we are going to use for talking to the postgres database i have created the project by following these instructions here now let me open the project in visual studio code so here we have a solution test containers demo and we have customer service project and customer service dot test projects and let us follow the instructions here so we have added npgsql dependency and we should be having this in our, our project dependencies file and also in our test we should have these dependencies let's just quickly verify that so here if i go to customer service dot cs project file i can see npgsql dependency over here and in customer service test we have sdk x unit dependencies configured okay so now let's go ahead and implement the business logic as described here so here we have a simple record customer with id and name properties and then we have created another class db connection provider which takes a connection string to the database in our case uh, postgres database and then we have a method get connection that will acquire a new connection to the database and then we have customer service class which has a constructor that takes db connection provider and then we are calling create customer table here so in the create customer table we are simply creating a new table customers if it is not already exists and we are using adivo.net api to perform all these database operations in addition to that there are a couple of other methods like get customers in which we are simply again opening a connection to the database and then we are selecting the data from our customers table and then populating all of uh, the records into customers collection and then we are returning it and another method we have create customer in which again we are uh, creating a connection and then we are executing this insert statement and then committing the operation so let us go ahead and implement all these uh, classes i have created the classes as described in the guide and we have customer customer service and db connection provider classes here now let us follow what we need to do to test this application so here we have the customer service implementation ready now we are going to use test containers for testing our small application here so first thing is as we are using postgres we can use test containers postgres module directly which provides a simplified test containers abstraction for working with postgres database so let's go ahead and run this command to add this test containers postgres module dependency in our customer service test project so i am going to terminal and here i am adding test containers postgres module dependency in our customer service test project so now that we have our dependency added it should add this uh, dependency here let us quickly verify that so here i can see 
the test containers postgresql dependency added cool so next we are going to write a test using test containers api here we can see we have created customer service test class which is implementing isync lifetime interface which provides callback methods uh, initialize async and dispose async we are using these callback methods to start our postgres database and then uh, dispose our postgres database so we have created a postgresql container by using postgres 15 alpine image and in the initialize async callback we are starting the uh, database container and in our dispose async which is going to be called at the end of the test we are disposing the container which is going to delete the container so and coming to our actual test i should return two customers so here we are instantiating a customer service object and we are providing this db connection provider and we are getting the database connection string directly from our container postgres.get connection string and internally it is going to automatically create the customers table and here we are creating two new customers which is going to store in the customers table and then we are fetching the customers data and we are expecting these to contain two customers so this is our test so let's write this test and see how it goes i have created customer service test as described in the guide and we are ready to test our application so i am going to the terminal and here i am inside this test containers demo solution directory and here i can execute all the tests in our solution using .NET test so here when i run .NET test it is executing all the tests in our case we have only one test and you can see here uh, test containers automatically started a postgres container and then executed our test and our test is passed so in order to run the test container space test the only requirement is to have a supporting docker environment in our case i have docker running locally and i am using test containers desktop application which i can seamlessly switch between uh, docker running on my local or i can use with test containers cloud so i have my supporting environment ready and then i'm able to run the test which automatically spin up the required containers and test the application if you want to try this out you can go to this guide and then you can follow along the instructions mentioned in this guide or you can go to this sample repository which contains the same application that we have gone through in this video and then you can explore the code and run the tests by yourself also if you want to explore further, you can go to testcontainers.com and we have documentation for each supporting language. Here you can go to uh, .NET documentation and you can learn more about test containers for .NET.